Welcome to our 17th video with data structures and algorithms. And I realize I haven't been talking about, uh, you know, some of the stuff that we have gone over in recitation, which is really what I should be doing. So uh, let's go over a couple of examples from last week. So we have a, a recursion tree with um, an uneven split. And these are, these can be kind of difficult to figure out uh, because uh, the recursion tree can be pretty big and um, kind of difficult to keep track of where we are. So let's go ahead and do this example. Here's our uh, our running time here, right? Our recurrence relation, and we'll start off with t of n, right? Done that before. And down here, right, we have t of n. Oh, wait, nope, sorry, not t of n. t of n over 3 plus t of 2n over 3. And then we have uh, bn plus c. Okay, now, what do we do from here, right? Well, all we really need to do is make sure that we... Uh, stick with one uh, of these at a time, okay? So for space, I'm going to actually do this one way down here. So what is t of n over 3, right? Well, that would be uh, just this, right? Just plug in n over 3 in here. And what do we get, right? t of n over 9, right, from here, plus t of 2n over 9, and then we get plus b times n over 3, right? We plugged in n over 3 here, plug it in there, plus a c. Now, I wrote that down here. Um, I'm going to just draw this like here. Okay, I'm going to use another color to do this level. So here was that one, okay? Now, that's what that little portion is, okay? What about this one? All right, we're still on our second level here, or I guess our our first level, really, if, if you want to kind of think of it that way. So, uh, what color? This one. Okay, so what was, what's this right here? T of 2n over 3. Well, plug that in. And remember, we're still adding this, right? There's still a plus sign here. We just kind of expanded this out. So, plus t of 2n over 9, okay? If we plug in for n, right, 2n over 3 here, we get 2n over 9. Okay, so the next one, t of 4n over 9, right, for right here, if this is, if n is 2n over 3, we get 4n over 9, plus b times uh, 2n over 3 plus c. Uh, and let me just draw this here, kind of short, but you get the idea. This is still the same level, trying to use the same color. And we will do this all the way down till we get to t of 1. Okay, and same thing here. Okay, t of 1. And same thing with the two middle ones. Okay, I'm just going to kind of combine these and show that those go down to t of 1 as well. Okay, and now I drew it kind of like this, right? Uh, because this side is going to get to 1 before any of the other ones. Why is that, right? Well, if I have n, and I divide it by 3, and I continually divide it by 3, right, I'll get to 1 at some time, right? Now, this right here, okay, if I have n, here's the other side, right? And I'm dividing by 3 halves, right? That's the same thing as 2n over 3. This is also, maybe to make it a little bit more clear, 1.5. Right, it's going to take me longer 
to get down to one. Right, so if I have a, uh, some number n and I divide it by three, I'm gonna get to one, right? Before I get to uh, one, if I divide it by any number smaller than three, okay? So that's why this will finish first, which is going to indicate um, an upper bound for us, okay? And this side, right, will take the longest. So this will be a uh, lower bound, or actually flip that. This will be a lower bound, and this will be an upper bound. You'll see why in a second. So right here, what do we have? All right, here's our first level. Okay, actually our zeroth level, uh, if you will. See why we have B n plus C. Okay, at that level. This is what we want. What about this level? We have a couple of things, right? This is all one level here. So we have this and we have this. So let's combine those things. Uh, we have B times N over three plus C plus B times two N over three plus C. Okay, and if we combine those, that's one third and two thirds, which just gives us B N, right? That's just one plus two C. All right, very cool. I'm gonna erase this and we're gonna have that right here. B N plus two C. Okay, now, what about the next level, right? What are we gonna get when we plug in, okay, T of N over nine into here? What, what are we gonna have over here? We're gonna have B, oops, we're gonna have B times n over 9 plus c. What about here? What about when we plug it in here? We're going to have b times 2n over 9 plus c. And when we plug it in here, we're going to have another b times 2n over 9 plus c. And the last one, we'll end up with b times 4n over 9 plus c, right? And if we add all of these together, right? What do we have? One ninth, two ninths, so that's one ninth, three ninths, five ninths, and nine ninths. Once again, we end up with Bn. Okay, great, and we have plus four C this time. Okay, so now, down here we have Bn, right, plus for C, and we can start to see uh, a pattern. So, what do we do from here? So now we know that we're going to get down to some point here. So we want to find our uh, lower bound, and we need to think of the height of the tree, right? This was, this we can think of, uh, you know, two to the zero. All right, times C, and here we can think of two to the one times C, and here we can think of two to the two, okay, times C, and so on, so we can see what's really changing here. And when we get down here, <coughs> what do we have? Well, the number of levels, right, indicates what's changing. So we have, we'll definitely have a BN, right, plus two to the something, right, times C. What is that something? Well, the number of levels that we have, right, is that something, right? We had a zero level here, we had one level, we had the second level, and so on. So what is the mth level for this side? right, for this one. Well, we divided by three, right, so we have n, and if we just continually divide by three, three, okay, and so on, the number of levels that we will have will be log base three of n. So many times we divided by three, which we have done before. Okay, so here we have log 
base 3 of n c. Okay, great. Now, what about this, this one right here? We'll definitely have a b of n. I've already shown that. And we will definitely have something like this. 2 to the k right, times c. What about this one? Well, again, we divided by 3 halves, right? A bunch of times. So let's do that. The number of times that we divided by 3 halves, n times c. OK. So here we have our lower bound. And here we have an upper bound. Now, what do we do with this, right? We're trying to find what, uh, you know, the time complexity of this. Well, we know that this is really just the sum, right? It's just the sum of all of these, right? And this is what was changing, right? This exponent here. So we need to, that's probably a bad place to put that. We need to find out what that sum is. Okay, so let's go to um, another page here. And what we had was, right, we have the sum of bn plus 2 to the k c, okay, where k was equal to 0 all the way to log 3 of n for the lower bound. And up here, uh, on the other one, we had the sum, right, bn plus 2 to the k, uh, c, sorry, not k prime, okay, from k equals 0 to log base 3 halves of n. Now, we've done this before, right? So I'll just show that, right, we have... We'll end up with bn times the sum of 1 from k equals uh, 0 to log 3 of n plus c times k equals 0 to log 3 of n times 2 to the k. Uh, same thing over here. We'll do both, uh, both levels at the same time k equals 0 to log base 3 halves of n, 1, plus c times k equals 0 to log 3 halves of n, log base 3 halves of n, uh, times 2, k. All right. And here, all right, we're just summing up 1. So this will go to b n, all right, times log 3 of n. Really, it will be plus 1 because the 0, which is fine. And plus, right, and this is a geometric series. And we know that with the geometric series, right, all we have to do is plug, the, plug some values into this equation. Right, so we have 2, and m is log 3 of n plus 1 minus 1 over 1, right, 2 and a half. And now this is, this is kind of a, a, a rough thing to do, right? So this is 2 times 2 to the log 3 of n uh, minus 1. Okay, and when you do this, this ends up just being linear. Okay, so some function of n. Okay, same thing here, right? B uh, n times, maybe I should just, oh, whoops. We should just go B n times log 3 halves of n plus 1, that's fine. <coughs> plus and something else that's linear. Right? So, uh, what do we do from here? All right, well, if you just distribute these things out, we see that this side will end up 
right? Giving us uh, n log 3n. And actually, I should say that this is uh, bounded, <coughs> you know, by log 3, or n log 3n. And this one, same thing, except we'll have n, right, log 3 halves of n. And we said that this was our lower bound, and this was our upper bound. So what do we do from here, right? Well, if we put, uh, let's kind of use our space effectively here. If we put t of n in here, right, and this inequality, right, now it's bounded. So what does this mean for us, right? Well, how do we get rid of uh, these log base threes, right? Log base three of that. If we just divide this, right, by log of three, okay, and log of three halves, okay, and we do some math, we end up seeing that t of n is theta, right, n log n, okay? And this just required a little bit of uh, math, okay? Some, some uh, logarithmic, um, what do you call it? Logarithmic uh, manipulation there, okay? And this is what we get.